here. Oh, oh. Sorry, took a tumble there. Hey y'all, how we doing? Last night, I uploaded on my Snapchat story for you guys to ask me some juicy questions or make any assumptions about me that you might have. And let me say, there are some, some of y'all are weird as hell. But anyways, you guys went through, you guys asked me some really cool questions and some pretty concerning and weird questions. And I'm not opposed to answering some of them. So let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Question number one was, are you single? No. <laughs> yes, I'm very single. And I'm looking, so maybe in the near future, I'll get me a boo. We'll see. You a homie. Thank you, I appreciate that. Biggest red flags in a guy. Hmm, let me think. I think what turns me off the most about guys is when they're super self-centered, very, very sheltered, not very educated. The worst thing I hate about guys is how controlling they can be sometimes. Like if a dude wants to try to control me or one of my friends or something like that, I'm gonna kick your ass. Number four. So you're trans now. Didn't know that. What? Who, which one of y'all said that I was a girl? Because last time I checked, um, I don't remember being a girl. Huh? 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 It's giving fake bi. Again, which one of y'all said that I was bisexual? I'm not. Because I'm gay. Look, there's literally... See that? Period. 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 <laughs> How you been? I'm great. Who's your crush? Hmm. Hey. This next one, y'all, this one had me rolling, okay? You look like the type of person who's got a mirror hanging on the wall in his house because it was only $2 at Ross. And what about it? Hi, YouTube. Anyways, you have such a cool vibe and you seem like a, such a great friend. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. That warms my heart. I love you, whoever said that. Last one. Why in the hell do you wanna move back to Illinois? I'd wanna stay gone. With that being said, let's talk about it. Let's do a little story time. So, I lived in, I moved to Florida two years ago at the very beginning of 2021. Um, I went to high school down here for a year and a half. I finished down here um, in May. Uh, I loved high school down here. It was really fun. The people that were there were great. Like, they're pretty cool people. Florida's an amazing state. It's got beautiful scenery, oceans, less than 60 miles away from you, wherever you are in the state. That's pretty cool. It's hot here all year round, and I, I wouldn't have it any other way. But with that being said, you may be thinking, so why are you moving back to Illinois? I'm moving back to Illinois because after high school, when you graduate high school, People that you think that will talk to you for the rest of your life, they don't. They kind of distance themselves. And most of the time it's not their fault. It's not like people are cutting you off. It's just people's lives get very busy. They go to college, they study in professions that they want to learn and educate themselves in. And that's okay. And the reason why I'm moving back is because my most of my family is in Illinois. And right now the job that I have exactly isn't the best because in Florida where I live where I'm located in Florida I live close to a beach during spring break and summer vacation when you are working that is when you will make the most amount of money you will bring in the most amount of coin and the most amount of revenue however when summer vacations over from the end of summer until the beginning of spring break it's dead we call it dead season and what that means is not very many people come down to the beach and there's not really a whole lot of business going on, but there's just enough business to keep things open. Right, the second reason why is because my circle of people that I've been friends with for years and years, 
that I only get to see like maybe once or twice a year, if I'm lucky, they're, they're still back there and I, I, I want to be surrounded by them and people that I love, you know, it's, it's just what I want to do. I'm 18 years old, I'm a legal adult, I can make decisions on my own, it's just, if your intention by that message was to try to make me feel dumb or ignorant, it, it, it did, it's not going to work. And you see all these assumptions, guys, the reason I put these up is because I knew people were going to say some juicy shit about me because, you know, that's just who people are. It's an anonymous messaging app, so it could have even been my best friend that said one of those nasty things. And I will never know. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, please leave a like and in a and a. Please comment down below in the comment section some ideas of what I should do next for the next videos in the future. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.